Today is a good day. Good morning, Jamaica. Good morning, world. And again, hello to our viewers on OneSpotMedia.com. I'm Empress Golding, honored to introduce you to the outgoing head boy of Kingston College, Chad Rattray. Not his first time on Smile Jamaica. Honored to have him because he helped 3,000 students prepare for the Caribbean Advanced Proficiency Examinations CAPE. Overseas viewers don't know what CAPE is, so I had to ex explain it uh, to them. Chad! Hi, good morning, Empress. How are you? It's good to see you. Yes, it's good to be back. Last time you were here, you were talking about a peace march. Yes, um, for the Student Safety on the Streets Initiative. Yes. How was that? It was really good. Yeah. Um, we got the much needed attention yes. from the different groups we wanted. Yes. And I, I actually was able to achieve um, a meeting with the Minister of National Security. Well, look I've at spoken you. to him about the issues that we face in mm -hmm. the Kingston Central area. And he actually committed to um, a more efficient transport system. He's going to work on it with... That um, would be Minister Horace Chan? Yes, Dr. Okay. Chan. Dr. Chan. And he also um, committed to increase patrols. Good. So that's just a, a step in the right direction. Students making a move. So when I met you, you were a boy. And now you've matriculated to manhood. Yes. <laughs> You're definitely. at UWE now. Yeah, UWE. Studying law. Yes, How coming is Monday. It? Well, and that's, I haven't started as yet. Yes. It's really oh, Monday yeah, yes. we start. Yeah, yeah, Monday. Yeah. Where are we? August. Yeah, yeah August. September morning. So that's when good stuff are getting ready for getting school ready? and so on. Yeah. All right. Good, good, good. Hope you can find a job with so many lawyers out there. Hopefully. <laughs> Let's go into what you have done to help 3,000 students. How do you do it? What did you do for them to be able to sit their exams? Well, of course, you know, I had Ed board duties um, over the past year and we were able to have a lot of achievements made. Uh, but I wanted to say, because when I was in fifth form, sixth form, I was already helping students with examinations, um, CSEC and so on. So I wanted to see how I could level that up this yeah. year. Mm -hmm. And um, I looked on the different... Um, needs that, they, that existed and I realized that hey why not use social media as a means to actually reach out to those students who I can't necessarily get physically. Yeah. So I'd utilize Instagram live and a lot of them tune into the sessions and uh, we, by the way I taught Caribbean studies yeah. and a lot of them tune into the sessions to the point where they were saying Chad when are we going to have the next one and we did all nighters studying and so on. And so you went Instagram live yeah. to teach Caribbean studies. Mm -hmm. And how many tuned in each session? Uh, so you can call it approximately like the highest we have ever gotten. Well, highest I've ever gotten was around uh, 1,500. Um, and then I actually had physical one on um, physical marathons as well. Mm -hmm. So. Uh, I had that at the University of Technology, Jamaica, mm -hmm. and approximately uh, 300 students in total were helped through the physical means. Yeah. Is that you, Chad, <laughs> on the screen there? Oh, yeah, that's definitely me. So, yes. yeah, it was a pretty nice session. Oh, my God. You had fun. Your youth reaching youth. Now, what drives you to do good? I mean, I, I, actually, I would like to go on your Instagram page as Chad and, and see who you follow. Like a lot of young men are following naked women and, you know, women who have no, nothing to do except show off their body and dance inappropriately on stages. And did I just say that? Um, and this is what young men are following because I speak to young men. Are you following those ladies too? Are you, is that, how do you, or are you following more no, I have standards. Educational. I, I have standards when yeah. I come on to Tell me about your standards. Media. Tell me about your. I would love to have this conversation. It's called SMS. Yes. Social media standards. As a young man, I'm curious. Tell me about your social media standards. Well, the thing is, I try to make my Instagram page as interactive as possible. So a lot of persons, they can message me anytime they want. And mm -hmm. so on. I will talk about issues where they're related to issues of Jamaica and issues with youth. And. Um, those who you know need mentorship and so on, they actually come to me as well. Mm -hmm. I currently have a lot of head, incoming head students actually mentoring us. So, yes. so that's why I really use I use the social media platform as mainly. Yeah, mainly for that. Um, to but we know just yeah, impact. But you also have your entertainment side of it. I'm Which sure. entertainment side? I'm, I'm asking. <laughs> I've always wanted to understand um, the psyche of young men as it relates to social media. So thanks for enlightening me. But the me persons that. who I follow though are yeah. like persons who are within government spaces and so on because okay. I want to keep up. You want to be a politician affairs. later in life. 
Well, I can see it in your eyes. Tell me if I'm wrong. I've never been wrong. Well, you're not wrong. I know. <laughs> I've never been wrong when it comes to young people. <laughs> Prove me wrong. I can Empress read it. Empress is never wrong. Huh? Empress is never wrong. Never wrong. Never wrong. <laughs> Chad, so the students that you help prepare for the Cape exams, mm -hmm. um, tell us the results. You know, oh, like how gosh. Many... Empress. It was so phenomenal. Like, I didn't even check my results. Yeah. I, I didn't even release my results yeah. until after I got everybody's results. They were phenomenal. Really? They got distinctions. And you see some of those who the teachers would have said, I'm going to make sure I'm looking at the camera. You see some of those students who the teachers would have said would have failed the subject. They came up with a three or a four and they still passed the subject. So even though they didn't get a one or a two, they passed. still proud of them. Yeah, man. Good on you. So I have a seven-year-old going into grade two. <laughs> Do you mind mentoring? <laughs> <laughs> if you're that good, this is totally cool though. And for so, next year, I'm definitely looking on how we can level that up again. Yeah. So I want to see if I can actually do more um, physical sessions yeah. across the island. Do you find the physical sessions more productive than the Instagram live? I mean, you know, digital technology, not being face to face. I still like to see people. I still like to write. I'm really? old school. Yeah, but with you millennials, is it easier? Is it more productive to do it that way? Uh, I think both are productive. Um, I personally like the Instagram live because I, I get to see the comments going yeah, down as yeah, they, yeah. So they, they send in feedback and they can ask questions. And uh, answer any question they want and show them how to do the essays. Everything. They get every single thing and it's totally free. All right. Since uh, we are here and we have an opportunity to speak to millions of people, viewers, parents, students, why don't you give them the Chad top 10 tips in less than a minute as students prepare for CAPE next year? Yes. Give them 10 tips from Chad. This is you have less than 60 seconds. Go. 10, Ten tips. tips. Okay. Read the read books. Study every day. Um, find a, a mentor or a tutor. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> I love putting them on the I was trying to compete today on that <laughs> one, but no. Listen, never mind. <laughs> what's your Instagram handle? Oh, so my Instagram page is chadratri um, underscore GM yes. on Instagram and Twitter. And it's chadratri on Facebook. Are you following me? Of course, definitely. You sure. can go on your phone right now. Let me make sure I'm So, following. person can come follow. Chad Rattery. Yes. Yeah, Tell, say it again. Chad Rattery mm -hmm. underscore GM. Chad Rattery underscore. I think, am I following you? Um, I don't think so, but that's for another conversation. Mm -mm, for another day. <laughs> we will take a break. Uh, youth inspiring youth. It's a good day. May we learn the smile lesson this morning. Inspire somebody else. Never keep your knowledge to yourself. Thank you, Chad, for being a great example for Thank our young you, men Empress, and our young and women. Thanks, Sister Jamaica, as well. You're always welcome. Shout out to the young people, then, before I go. Talk and up, youth. Mr. Talk up, youth. Yeah, man. Inspire, youth. We'll soon come. <laughs>